Okay, so here we have our blank SharePoint 2013 site, and we need to create our lists that we're going to be using for our parent-child list relationship. So to create those lists, you want to click on Site Contents. This is like View All Site Content in SharePoint 2010. And you see that we don't have the option to create, we have the option to add an app. And this is how you create a list in SharePoint 2013, at least through the SharePoint interface. So we click on Add an App, and we want to click on Custom List. And we're going to create our parent list, and it is going to be called Issues. So when we create that, you see our list got created, Issues. Now we're going to add another app, Custom List. And this is going to be our child list, and our child list is going to be called Time, because theoretically we are logging time against an issue. Uh, the other library we're going to need for our application is going to be a document library that's going to hold our scripts that we'll be using. So once again, click on Add an App. We're going to add a document library, and we're going to call this Site Assets. So now we have our parent list, our child list, and our script library. Uh, the next thing we need to do is add a lookup from our child list to our parent list so it knows which issue is associated with a time entry. So click on the time list, and you see we have the option to do a new item or edit this list. We want to edit this list. And we get this little plus sign to add a column. So click on add a column, and then we want to select more column types. We're going to create a column called issue which issue does this time entry belong to, and it's going to be a lookup to the issues list title field. Go ahead and click OK, and you can see the field got added, title and issue. So if we go to our issues list, let's go ahead and create a couple of issues so we've got some data. So let's click on new item, and let's put in need more RAM, and the Let's have one more item, and we'll add that and call it need bigger SSD because we need this stuff to develop in SharePoint 2013. So now we have two issues. Now when we go to the time list, let's say we add an entry, and let's say we bought some RAM, and we want to assign that to the proper issue, which is need more RAM. Now ideally, stop that SharePoint. Ideally, we, this would be set for me automatically, and I wouldn't have to select need more RAM, and that's the whole point of what we're going to do with our scripts. Our scripts are going to set this value for you automatically. So let's head and click Save on that, and you can see we have our bought some RAM for the issue need more RAM. Uh, the last thing we'll do with this video is we need to upload the scripts that we're going to be using uh, that are it's going to be setting the fields for us. So let's click on the Site Assets Library, and you can see we can either add a document or drag files here. I like the drag files here functionality, so I'm just going to um, do that. Let's open up our scripts. Here they are. We'll highlight them. And look, we can just drag and drop them here. It uploads the scripts for us. All right, so we're all set, and we're ready to go to the next part of our little application.